one of this TV season's hottest new shows. We're happy to have him here. He's dastardly in the show. And he's dastardly he's, handsome. He, in yes. Robin Lord Taylor is. <laughs> Robin, welcome. You know, when you think about taking on an iconic character, right? Right. And you're going back in time before he's reached the character that we've all come to know, whether mm -hmm. it was Burgess Meredith's interpretation or Danny DeVito's. Right. So you're you're their predecessor. I mean. So do you do you go? Well, that's where I have to get to. Well, uh, in a, in a way, I mean, I feel like you know, like every generation has its own incarnation of Batman. It's been around yeah. for 75 years. It's American pop culture classic yeah. at you know at its best. And uh, yeah, and so I. Mean, I mean, the two amazing well, shoes. Of the, I mean, to follow these two actors is just uh, mind blowing. Yeah. Like, look how different, though, from the TV series when it was a little gentler and then what he really looks right. like. Exactly. That's Tim Burton well, uh, incarnation of him. What, um, where do you, so you, you take some liberties, but you, what did you keep? What did, what was the essence of? Well, I, I, I was a, they used to air reruns of the original Batman series after Scooby-Doo. So after elementary school, I watched every single episode. So I was very familiar with Burgess Meredith. And then, yeah. of course, I've seen Batman Returns a billion times. Sure. And then, um, so, but yeah, but like one thing that they, you know, I, I feel like I have my own ownership over the character. But yeah, one, one thing I did take from both of them is just their sheer glee, like the fun yeah. that, that they had, you know, with playing this character and just bringing the Penguin to life, you know, like he's, he, the, despite the way he looks he's learned that he needs to be charismatic he needs to be like yeah. you know you know and that's how he manipulates people is that he needs to like sort of get them on his side so that he can then use sure. them you know against each other and then he can come out on top so yeah just the sheer glee that they brought to the characters that's that that's what I drew from yeah what was your how did you audition what did you have to do for your audition the audition was it, it's so funny it was like it's the most intense job you know that I've ever had and one of the highest profile things I've ever auditioned for but it was like also strangely simple I mean they didn't I, I had no script I had there was no t it was like the untitled Warner Brothers project or something sure. so I didn't know what it was it was a fake scene with fake names and then the night before my agent called me and she was like oh by the way it's Gotham it's the origin story of Batman you're auditioning for the penguin and I was oh. like <laughs> <laughs> okay, but I, you know, so I, but I had already like, you know, I'd already worked on the thing and I made my choices and I just was like, I'm gonna go in and do my thing and and it just and it just and worked trust. out so, so and trust and yeah. yeah, exactly and here we are. Well, I, uh, I would think that your acting classes at Northwestern University when you when you studied animal yes. behavior, what made you decide to take an, animal behavior? Or acting class. You did that for your acting yeah, class. Yeah, for acting well, it, class. It was part of the curriculum. Like we, you know, like well, at Northwestern, you're in the same class for three years, sophomore through senior year, and so you know, we we studied all different types of techniques and everything. And one one quarter we spent on animal work, and uh, it's just you know, it's like as what like yeah. I mean, and you could be anything. Like people were deer and people were dogs. Do they assign things to and, you? Uh, no, they don't actually. You're sort of able to. Well, uh, certain teachers do. Ours did not. Like we were able to choose one. Yeah. And, uh, I chose an owl randomly. I have a How bird do you do thing. An owl? My name is Robin. I don't know. Okay, Robin. How do you <laughs> it's like I don't know what is going on in my life. Yeah. How do you do an owl? How, how, do, you how do you do an owl? Do it? What is how do you do okay. it? <laughs> I mean, I, it was a while ago, but I remember just like being, you know, and this was early on in the class, and I was, you know, shy, you know, and I was like sure. at this big school, you know, from Iowa, and like, but I was like, I was like, okay, I'm gonna be an owl because you know, the owls kind oh. of like hang back, and so like, right. I, all I remember <laughs> is just like perching like on like a chair and like just oh. going like, you know, like. Really intense neck turns. Did, see how far <laughs> I turn that was like, yeah. That, that was, that did was you have to restrain yourself from saying who? <laughs> yeah, like, no, yeah. there was a lot of saying who. Was there? I mean, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Totally, totally. Yeah. Who yeah. made me do this? Yeah. Right. Exactly. <laughs> right. 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 Uh, all right. Totally. Carol Kane, the legend, oh, uh, yeah. is in this, Amazing. right? Uh, I, yeah. She did, plays my mom. Yeah. She's. But brilliant. she she also worked with Danny DeVito, right? Yes. Back in Taxi. Back in Taxi, taxi and days. and they're like she's really close to Danny and Rhea. Like they're like best friends. And he played. The pig, like, did, yes, you, exactly. did you get feedback? Yeah. Does she, has he seen? Well, it would, well uh, she, I, she, she comes to set and she says to me, Guess who I had dinner with? And she talks like, yeah. she likes, you know, she kind of uses the voice, you know, right. even when we're off set. And like, <laughs> she's like, Guess who I had dinner with last night? And I'm like, Who? And she's like, Your predecessor. And I was like, <gasps> Like I was like, has he watched? And she was like, he he very much likes you. Like he likes oh, you. And, wow. I, and then he was just doing a carpet, you know, at an event just I think yesterday. And someone asked him about my performance, and he like raved about it. And my oh, mind, what validation? My brain exploded. I I, I, 
I can't even believe it. Like, I'm such a fan of his, and he's such an amazing, amazing actor. And to just to know that he knows that I exist is like, again, what is my what? life? You know? <laughs> <laughs> What's happening? All right, so let's talk about your character. Where is he? Where is he now? Because we're going to set up a clip and take a look at this. You, you know, he start, as we start the series, you know, he's very low on the totem pole. But mm. he has incredible ambitions. Like, he, as we know, we, we know where you he think? ends up eventually. Yeah, yeah. Right? hello. He wants to run, this, yeah. run the show. And so, um, but, you know, as we see through, the, as the series comes Comes along, he's making steps, and where we are right now, he's kind of succeeding. And you know, it's it's not a smooth ride. Like there, you know, he's he's making mistakes. He's not perfect, which I love about the character. Like yeah, if yeah. it was a smooth ride, it'd be boring. Right, but right. you know, like he, yeah, like he, you know, he oversteps his boundaries, and you know, he he finds himself torn between you know the two crime families. But uh, but yeah, he's still like. He's he's making his way. What are we going to really see? We're going to see. Do you know, we, do you know the yeah. clip that we have? Yeah, I, 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 I actually I, I'm not sure, but um, I think it, no, I do know what it is. It's a scene with uh, with my character Oswald Cobblepot and Benjamin McKenzie's character Jim Gordon and. You know, if if you've seen the show in the in this in the first uh, in the pilot episode, Jim saves my life, and this is the first time Jim comes to Oswald to uh, to ask for a favor, which is uh, just like Oswald really okay. enjoys that. Yeah. <laughs> right, let's take a look. <laughs> I'm so very glad you called, Jim Gordon. It's been far too long since we've seen each other. I was beginning to think you'd forgotten about me. I need a favor. Do you know anything about a narcotics detective by the name of Arnold Flass? I've heard the name. I'm investigating him and his crew for murder. But I've hit a wall. He's too well connected. I figured since Maroney runs the drug trade, maybe you could find somebody with the goods on Flass. But <laughs> say no more. Favor is done. I'll make some calls. And what do I owe you in return? Friends don't owe friends, silly. They just do favors because they want to. <laughs> because of their friends. Nobody gets hurt. Of course, no one gets hurt. Yeah. You make him so interesting. Yeah. Oh, he yeah. just has so much happening. Thank you so much. Very I, mean, good. I, I give all credit to the creators. They made they made an amazing, uh, just yeah. an actor's dream. Sure. Well, you yes. brought it to life. Well, thank you, yes. thank you. I right. tried. So, did yeah. you keep the iconic walk? Uh, yeah. A waddle. Yeah. I, well, yeah, and I, it's it's funny, like you know it. It, it, it comes from a real place. Like, like Oswald's initial boss is Fish Mooney, who's played by the incredible Jada Pinkett Smith. <laughs> and uh, however, you know, because he wants to run the show, he goes behind her back. She finds well, out and then no. not a good idea. beats him <laughs> yeah, really and badly. gives him a huge injury. And so that's where the waddle comes from. And so, yeah, so that's, we've incorporated that into the story. Uh, you know? right? yeah. What a great thing to yeah. create. Yeah, yeah. How do you keep that limp? I keep the limp. This is actually pretty funny. I mean, I feel like I'm talking about acting crap all the time, but like <laughs> it was, it, it was a, it's an old Stella Adler trick. I actually have a bottle cap in my shoe oh. and it's like, it's a nice little reminder. You know, we came back after hiatus and from between the pilot and coming back and we shot this big scene and I got, and it was with a bus in Chinatown and extras and insanity. Yeah. And I get back on the bus and I realize I completely forgot the walk. And I flipped out and I went to the director and I was like, ah, uh, and he was like, it's okay, we'll fix it, we'll work around it, you're fine. Yeah. But then I was like, I can't, I can't ever do that again. And so then my wardrobe assistant, she was like, what if we put something in your shoe? And I was like, brilliant. And so it's yeah. amazing too, because like, then like, you know, as the actor, like I can feel just a yeah. reminder of the pain that the character feels with every step that so he here, takes. So here, teach me how to do this, oh, okay, I have right. a pain that I have to work uh, with. Okay. Hey! Uh, right, right. No, not you! Oh, oh I didn't mean that. <laughs> did you hear that? How do you do? So <laughs> when you put, the cap, you put the cap up? Yeah, no, yeah, no, 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 not, not up. Okay. It's just, you know, it's no, a water bottle cap. why don't you put cap. the cap up? <laughs> Go ahead. <laughs> yeah, so so you, you turn out, you know, you have to work on your ballet training, turn the right one out, and then, yeah, you just, Every step, it's it's just it's one of those. It's, yeah, it's just one of those. It's like a, it's Sadly, a lift. that's the way I normally walk. It's just age. <laughs> yeah, There's right. no bottle cap yeah, right. involved. Exactly. With that. yeah. But that's how you have to do it. Yeah, yeah totally, totally. It's yeah, no. it's one of those things. Yeah. I think you should put. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> Perfect. There. It is. Yes. There it is. It. Wonderful. There it is. Um, uh, all right. Wonderful stories. Thank, Thank, you, thank you so, so much, guys. Much it's such a pleasure to be Iowan here with here. you both. I